five warning signs of bowel cancer you should never ignore. So, our symptoms of bowel cancer can be seen when there's growth of a tumor within the lining of the bowel. As you can see here, growth in this area over a period of time will result in a lot of different symptoms. Now, if there's anything that I'd like you to take away from today's video, it's the importance of knowing these warning signs. Now, a lot of patients come to me despite having these warning signs, being reassured by a normal or a negative bowel cancer screening test. However, the really important thing to remember here is that the bowel cancer screening test has a much higher threshold for detecting bowel cancer than the test that your doctor will arrange if you had any of these concerning symptoms, meaning that it might not pick up really early stage cases of bowel cancer. This is why it's really important to know what concerning symptoms to look out for, just so you know when to go and see a doctor for these further tests and investigations. There are around 42,000 new cases of bowel cancer in the UK each year. Now we have certain risk factors that include an increase in age, also people that have a family history of this condition are more likely to get it, and certain lifestyle factors such as smoking, excessive alcohol intake, and also a poor diet, especially those that are high in red and processed meat. Let's start off with one of the most common symptoms. This is a change in bowel habit. This is especially concerning if it's persistent for more than six weeks and could either be that you're having looser poos than what's usual for yourself or that you're not going to the toilet often enough for a poo. The second symptom to be aware of is the presence of blood in your stools. This could either be fresh bright red blood, which is more common in cancers that are located closer to the rectum, or it could be blood mixed in with your stools or black or tarry stools, which is more common in right-sided colon cancers, which are farther away from the rectum. You could also have microscopic blood in your poos, which you can't necessarily see, but this is picked up by a test that's arranged by the doctor known as a fecal immunochemical test also known as a FIT test. This is one of the many tests that your doctor will arrange if you have any other concerning symptoms. Now, a big point to make here is that loads of other things can cause you to have blood in your stools, which is why, firstly, it's important to see your doctor because they can reassure you about a different cause. And secondly, they can arrange a further test to rule out bowel cancer as a cause of this blood in your stools. Another important symptom to be aware of is the presence of feeling really tired all the time or fatigued. Now, this is not necessarily only linked to bowel cancer. However, if it's persistent, it's important to see a doctor about this. Now, this symptom might be linked with a passage of blood in your stools because this can result in anemia. Anemia basically means that you have less red blood cells that are carrying oxygen around your body and less oxygen means that your usual daily activities and mean that you feel a lot more tired than usual doing these. Unexplained weight loss is another symptom to be aware of. Now, unexplained means that you're losing a significant amount of weight without any lifestyle changes, such as eating a healthier diet or increasing your activity levels. Now, we see unexplained weight loss in cancer because the cancer cells release certain chemicals that changed the way in which your body converts food into energy, which can then lead to weight loss. Another symptom to be aware of is an unexplained lump in the tummy or in the back passage. Now it's important to see a doctor about this lump so it can be adequately examined in order to come to the correct diagnosis. Knowing these signs of symptoms is so important because any potential issues can be picked up early enough which then increases the chances of a successful outcome with any treatments. I've also included some really useful links to give you a bit more information around bowel cancer. And as always, if you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure you share this with any friends or family that you feel will benefit from this information. And until the next time, I'll see you soon.